When we were making the film, Tari and I like would create these Venn diagrams of Beethoven, my father, and my son. And we realized that they had all these intersections, but they didn't all have the same intersections. My name is Irene Taylor Brodsky. I am the director of Moonlight Sonata, Deafness and Three Movements, and my film is playing in the US documentary competition at the 2019 Sundance Film Festival. It's a really personal story about my deaf son growing up and my deaf father growing old and the year in Beethoven's life when he was blindsided by his deafness and he wrote this iconic sonata we now know as the Moonlight Sonata. The story happened very organically. I first started making it when my 11-year-old told me he wanted to learn the Moonlight Sonata. Jonas, from a very young age, was really showing a great interest in musical instruments. Then he lost his hearing and when he got his cochlear implants, we saw that he was continuing to hammer away at the piano, so we got him a teacher when he was five years old. This was actually the second Beethoven piece she had taught him, and this was a piece that he really wanted to learn, that she thought he was not ready for. But my son uh, was really determined, and he went ahead and bought the music without her permission and started playing it. And I remember one day he was playing it, trying to finger through it, and I looked it up and I realized that this was a watershed year for Beethoven when he wrote this piece. It was really when he came out of the depths of this great depression, a suicidal depression that he had been in, because he realized this deafness was a one-way street. It, he was not coming back. And so he realized, I can do this, and it is my art that will save me. I really thought there was a beautiful story there, but then something very unexpected happened in the year that we made the film, and it really impacted my father's life greatly. So the story has become this interweaving of three stories of three deaf people over 300 years and their relationship to their own deafness.